Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. I just got out of seeing Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. This is my out of theater reaction. First things first, this is a phenomenal film and it delivered so damn well. And I'll have to say that Into the Spider-Verse, of course the first film in this franchise, walked so this film could run and soar. This was insane what they pulled off here with so many spider characters, so many great story moments and things that happened in this film that could only happen because of what Into the Spider-Verse established in terms of its characters. Miles, once again, is of course the standout, the lead, and he is so well done in this film in terms of his dialogue and his character development and the reveals in this film. It's so impactful. There are some really dark moments in the theater that I saw it in. There was a number of small kids that I don't think would appreciate the storytelling that's happening. There's a lot of great visuals. Of course, all the different worlds we go to, so many great visuals, so many great epic fighting and just scenes occurring that is just so visually appealing and stand out. And I feel like these young kids that were there, some of the young kids are not gonna be able to appreciate what they just saw. Like they'll be able to like enjoy all the cool stuff, but there are some deep storytelling and they already kind of established that from Into the Spider-Verse in terms of what they were kind of, uh, trying to accomplish with this film, in terms of its storytelling, in terms of where it's going to go and in terms of its story and how deep it's gonna go into the emotional aspects of all that. Um, Gwen has way more to do in this film, which I really appreciate. Haley Steinfeld, of course, voicing Gwen, um, did a phenomenal job. I really appreciated Gwen's storyline and what they did with her character. Of course, Peter, of course, from the first film is back again. Of course, you see it in the trailers with Mayday, his daughter. Uh, it's so cute. And there's so many Easter eggs in terms of spider characters. There's some great moments that I'm so happy the marketing hasn't revealed or at least didn't allude to or anything. There are some really like Oh my god, I can't believe they did that. Oh my god, I can't believe they they, they didn't show that because they could have easily shown some, some of the stuff in the marketing. There's some really interesting things. And they really dive into the spider society of it all in terms of what we see in terms of all the spider characters. They really do a good job of handling all that and seeing all the different spider characters like I was mentioning. It's, it's so cool. And I can't wait to see what's next. I can't wait to see because it's clear there's a lot more story that has to be told here. And it's so easily setting up. There are other stories to tell past Miles' story or other stories surrounding Miles' story. I, I was really, really happy with this film. Now, any negatives? I would say there isn't really any negatives in terms of things that I felt could have been changed or was different. I was just really happy with what the story being told here because into the Spider-Verse established a lot of things they were doing here. And the ending, even though it is abrupt, abrupt it kind of just ends because of course we, we know there's another, I think it's called, um, cause it's, cause Into the Spider-Verse, I think it's called Beyond the Spider-Verse, but that, that was the title for the third film. We know that's coming. So even though it's kind of an abrupt ending, it to me it wasn't abrupt to the point where like, okay, that just randomly ended. It ended I think in a good spot. And there's some really cool moments at the end there for sure in terms of like, this changes a lot of things. Pay attention to the details. Pay attention to all those small little details because trust me, things that may seem not important actually is probably gonna end up being important. So just pay attention. They do spend a good amount of time in different worlds besides of course Miles uh, in terms of Gwen's world, Spider-Man India. Um, it's really, really cool stuff. I love the visual changes and everything. And there's there's a standout character, <laughs> Spider-Punk. I really liked his character a lot. I really, really did. And uh, of course, Spider-Man 2099, of course. Um, um, oh God, I'm, I'm forgetting his name. Oscar Isaac, of course. I, I wish we could have seen a little bit more of his character, but once he's introduced in the film, we get a good chunk of his character and they're definitely setting up more stuff there. Uh, but I do wish we would have seen a little bit more of him, but in terms of what we do get, it's great. It's some great stuff there. Uh, and all the spider characters, like I've been mentioning, it's just, it's, it's, I just keep thinking about all the spider characters because they really went all out with all the craziness in terms of this film, because 
When I was saying Into the Spider-Verse walked so this film could run and soar, it's because of what Into the Spider-Verse establishes, that this film was able to do what it does. Because you couldn't do this film as a first film. You could, in terms of the, some of the things they were doing, but it, it's more impactful because of we already seen the first installment. We've already seen the first film. Uh, so yes, go see this film as soon as possible. Oh my gosh, go see this film as soon as possible. You have to. It was so good. That's my out of theater reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.